Oh, it's coming. Today is a super exciting episode. Today, we deliberately drive an RC car into a concrete wall. A thousand pounds of concrete doing 50 miles an hour, just in the name of science, if you will. Since the beginning of time, man has been obsessed, obviously, with destruction. It's just so much fun. There's just something about it that makes us feel good and warm inside. For some weird reason, this is how we're wired, I assume. We're doing a lot of crazy stuff on the channel. If you're a subscriber, you already know we're doing a lot of crazy stuff with RCs and a lot of experiments, and it's actually a lot of fun. But we never actually took a car, just like how they take a normal car and crash test it. What exactly do happen when you crash it into a concrete wall doing 50 miles an hour, which is about the average speed of the RC car user? Well, until today. Yeah, that LiPo was a goner and I didn't want to put it back in my car. You know, something just doesn't feel right. I did not get my climax moment. See, the funny thing is, you guys probably think that the video is over and you're not going to get any more action. You're wrong. Very wrong, actually. I think I'm going to rebuild it, gear it to 80 miles an hour instead of 50 miles an hour and try and hit that wall right in the center. I want to get that explosion. This is just not enough. All of which will happen in the next video. Next video? This is adorable. I can't wait. You know what? To be honest, it's not actually that bad. So all of these survived. This entire module, the system, of course, the power plant, radio and whatnot, servo. What didn't survive actually is obviously the chassis. And of course, I used the limitless chassis for this one from a previous build of mine. This is how that looks. And those parts. Now, a lot of it I can probably fix and straighten on my vise. I'm going to sort out some parts here and there. And we're going to rebuild it. Not as bad. Good job, Arma. And here we are. Luckily, I kept this Arma Italian 7075 chassis so I can reuse it. Dude, I got to tell you, I'm not paid by Arma or anything. They're not sponsoring me or anything. I'm paying full retail for all my cars. Putting that thing into a concrete wall going 50 miles an hour and still keeping about 98% ish of the car and rebuilding, repurposing it in about two hours, pretty darn impressive. Anyway, it's time. Let's get out there.